Ajiza. Hawazni chancho gaisa girtan. Hawari ri abotinis. Ito jagata zwaiti kanura loita jajura. Maria waza gaisuma wandu te jajja. Maria waza Ethiopia is undergoing a child survival revolution that is resulting in impressive reductions in under five child mortality. In 1990, approximately 20% of Ethiopian children would not live to reach their fifth birthday. According to the 2011 Demographic Health Survey, that figure has been cut to 8.8%. Malnutrition is an underlying factor in at least half of all under five deaths, and the progress that has been made in preventing and treating malnutrition is a leading factor in improving the survival rates of children. Drought and resulting periods of hunger have been regular features in Ethiopia's history. During the 2002-2003 drought emergency, the major intervention to respond to severe acute malnutrition were therapeutic feeding programs implemented by international NGOs. At the time, there was almost no local capacity to manage the severe acute malnutrition cases and very few therapeutic feeding programs were integrated into health facilities. As NGOs gradually phased out their emergency interventions, limited local capacity was available to deal with future nutrition emergencies or ongoing nutrition challenges. Since 2004, the Ministry of Health, with support from partners including UNICEF, integrated the in- and outpatient management of severe acute malnutrition into hospitals and health centers at regional and district levels. Consequently, the national capacity for the management of severe acute malnutrition increased from almost zero in 2003 to over 20,000 severely malnourished patients each month in 2007. In 2008, the combination of drought and high food prices resulted in dramatic and rapid increases in the number of severely malnourished children in parts of Oromia and Southern Nations Nationalities and Peoples regions. The Ministry of Health actively engaged in the emergency nutrition response and concluded that the best option to prevent high mortality due to malnutrition was to decentralize the management of severe acute malnutrition to the health post and sub-district level. UNICEF supported the Ministry of Health to train all the 2,478 health extension workers in the 100 affected Waredas in the identification of severe acute malnutrition, referral of complicated cases to inpatient facilities, and management of the uncomplicated cases. Badria Yuya learns that one of her eight-month-old twins, Hahumati Shamsadin, is severely underweight during the monthly Community Growth Monitoring and Promotion Session, conducted by volunteer community health worker and Health Development Army member Qasim Jibral in Janjo village of Gabso Takumak Abale in drought-affected eastern Ethiopia. Monthly Community Growth Monitoring and Promotion of Children two years and younger is one of the pillars of the community-based nutrition program that was introduced by the government of Ethiopia in 2008 in drought-prone and food-insecure districts like Dedar. The Community-Based Nutrition Program, or CBN, is designed to empower the community to assess the nutritional status of their children, analyze why things may not be as they should, and take action using their own resources to prevent malnutrition and promote the well-being of their children. Tracking the growth of all children in the community enables the timely identification and referral for further examination and treatment of severely underweight children like Hehumati. Badria heeds the advice of the volunteer community health workers and takes baby Hahumati to the Gabso Takoma Health Post for further screening. Tigist Imibir, one of the two health extension workers assigned to the Gabso Takoma Health Post, has received training on outpatient therapeutic feeding and welcomes Badria to the weekly program. Tigist measures Hahumati's mid upper arm circumference, an indicator of nutritional status, and records 9 centimeters 
well below the 11 centimeter mark that indicates severe acute malnutrition in children five years and younger, a condition that can be deadly if untreated. Tigus then weighs Hahumati and registers his weight, four kilograms, on his outpatient therapeutic feeding program admission card. She will be monitoring his weight every week until he reaches the point when he is out of danger, no longer severely malnourished and can be discharged. Tigust also checks his temperature to ensure he does not have fever, as well as his breathing pattern for signs of pneumonia, both complications that would require clinical care. Finally, Tigust helps Pedria to wash her hands and leads mother and child to a quiet corner with a sachet of ready-to-use therapeutic food for the appetite test. This is Hahumati's first time tasting the ready-to-use therapeutic food, but he needs no coaxing to eat the sweet, peanut butter-like paste. Hahumati has passed all the criteria for entering the outpatient program, and Tigust ends his first session by giving Badria a week's supply of ready-to-use therapeutic foods and a bottle of amoxicillin antibiotics to treat any infections with instructions on how to administer it. In 2011, a combination of drought, poor harvests from the previous year, and rising food prices has resulted in more than 4.5 million Ethiopians requiring emergency food assistance. The delayed rainy season in areas like Dedar is compounding the impact of the lean between harvest season, where malnutrition rates generally rise. For Badria, the impact has been double, as she's been struggling to manage with twins. The government of Ethiopia estimates that over 150,000 children under the age of five will require treatment for severe acute malnutrition through the end of 2011. The community-based nutrition and outpatient therapeutic feeding programs are ensuring that severely malnourished children are identified early and treatment provided near their homes. These government systems are responding to the needs of malnourished children, ensuring that they have a strong chance of recovering and surviving the worst impact of the drought. Ethiopia's national capacity to treat severe acute malnutrition in drought and food insecure districts like Dedar increased from almost nothing in 2003 to more than 8,800 sites today. The government of Ethiopia has, within a short period of time, managed to provide access to services for the majority of families affected by severe acute malnutrition in the country. In less than three years, service coverage for severe acute malnutrition has reached 60% of health posts and 52% of health centers running outpatient therapeutic programs. 21% of health centers and 86% of hospitals are also running therapeutic feeding units. <laughs>